Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with master pages in Adobe InDesign. Master pages act like templates and allow you to create pages with um, certain layouts and with a certain number of elements and um, po populate that over multiple pages. Uh, here I have a document with eight pages. Uh, you can simply create this by going to File, New Document and create a letter size eight page document. Um, as you see all my pages are blank uh, I can scroll up and down so you see what we have here um, I'm going to go to pages and you can see the thumbnails are empty here as well um, the top section shows the master pages and at this point we have a master that's the only ma master page we have and that is the default master page that is created automatically by InDesign and as you see uh, there's a letter A mentioned on every single of these uh, pages on the spread which determines that a master has been applied to all these pages that means if I create something um, on the A master it will populate it on all these pages okay let's go experiment with that I'm going to double click the word A master that will take me to A master so this is A master now I'm going to pick up the rectangle tool from the toolbar I go to the options bar and change the fill color to blue and then on the left page of the A master I'm going to click and drag to draw a rectangle if you take a look at the pages panel you see all my pages on the left side also have that rectangle I'm going to pick up the ellipse tool from the toolbar and I'm going to click and drag here on the right side of the A master and change the color to yellow now if you take a look at the thumbnails you see all of these right side pages have a yellow circle on them so basically the A master left side and right side are taking control of all left side and right side of pages. If you modify any of these, for instance, um, I'm going to bring this here in the bottom, you see all of the regular pages also showing the circle is moved to the bottom. So basically these are all connected to the master page. Uh, let's go to page two and three. Okay, I'm going to double click here and now I'm on page two and three. Uh, to make sure that's correct you can also take a look at here in the bottom in the status bar it says page 2 so this is page 2 on the left um, I would like to modify this let's say you have um, a different layout here and you would like to move this around or get rid of it but I do not have the permission to do that it is locked because it's connected to the master page in order to release this element or any element from the master page you need to hold control shift and click on the item if you have a Mac computer that would be command shift so now that this is released I can for instance move it around or delete it so this is gone the same here I can basically call, uh, con hold control and shift click on this delete and it's gone so as you see that's page one two three four five six seven and eight also the first page is usually considered the front page and it does not have the look of the a master uh, we usually apply none master to this one to erase all the information and then we design it um, separately so in order to do that I'm going to go to the pages panel grab the none which is a blank master page and drag it over page one you see that erases that one we can do the same thing to page 8 so I'm gonna go down all the way to page 8 that's what we have at this point 
and you can see it in the thumbnail here as well I'm going to grab none and drag it over page 8 and there you have it so that's gone too um, now I'm going to show you how to create other master pages in order to do that we're gonna go to pages panel menu new master this will be automatically called B master and it could be created based on a master or not you can choose a master here or just have a fresh master page um, I'm going to click OK. So I have my B master here and it's open right here as well. I'm going to pick up the rectangle tool and drag a large. Okay, I'm just going to drag a large size box here and turn it red. Okay, I applied that to the entire spread. So there you go. I have B master which is here but is not applied to any of these pages. So if you want to apply BMaster to any of the pages you have to drag them here. For instance I have the left side of BMaster and since page 2 and 3 let's click on them they're empty. If you remember we just deleted all the items there. Uh, so I can grab this one and drag it over the left side and that will apply it to the spread. So now we have pages that are created uh, from multiple master pages, A master and B master. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching.